Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Imperator of the Bronze Age playing as Babylon. We just got smashed by Mari pretty hard. I am retreating right now and I have taken some pretty massive losses. Not thrilled about that. We're gonna go ahead and increase our fort maintenance as well as our army maintenance and see if maybe that can help at least a little bit. Though obviously it is going to cost me a lot of money. We also have to deal with a uh, small rebellion issue we're having over here, plus some barbarians. Basically a lot of things are starting to suddenly go very, very wrong for us. And I'm highly concerned. Uh, let's go ahead and perform a sacrifice to try and keep my stability up a little bit. I would like to start reducing aggress uh, the monthly war exhaustion. Does cost me some tyranny, but at least preventing this from getting too high helps. So we'll try for some of that. In the meantime, we need a lot of reinforcements to start coming together. We got a little time because we made some early pushes over here, which means now the AI has to come and siege it all back, but still. More scorned families. Jesus, I swear to God. Or at least you're not a horrible character. We'll work with this. Sometimes I feel like that's one of the most annoying mechanics, dealing with all the families. Like, it's, it's an important part of the, um... It's an important part of the mechanics of Imperator and trying to actually make... Um, trying to make the internal politics and the internal instability of a large empire, like, a meaningful problem. Like, yeah, fair enough, but, like, holy crap, this is proving to be a problem. Alright, so where are my troops? They are still retreating over here. We need to run further, because they are actually swarming after me still. And I'm not in the mood to fight all this yet. At least not until I can get some of my own morale back. Um, I think we're still okay on food at the moment, so let's just sort of sit back here for a second. His troops are still up here, I know they're there. But if he comes over here and wants to fight me over a, for a fort or something, I might take it. We also might see an opportunity to jump on a small stack and just kind of break him down quickly before his large reinforcements get into place. I'm also getting some mercenaries and some other small stacks together, which all should be able to help. You guys head up over here. So, I see a lot over here. I mean, yeah, I need more morale. I'm not charging into anything if I have low morale. It's just not happening. Okay, we got a siege for our uh, rebellion. Good. Let's go ahead and get this other fort. Take care of that, and I think this solves the problem, and the independence war will be over. These uh, barbarians are still sieging me, which I find super annoying, but you know what? I got priorities right now. Who just died? Gosh dang it, now what? Yellow this time. We need a new job for yellow. You're okay. We'll go ahead and put you in charge. <sighs> Oh, okay. A few more reinforcements on the way. So, he seems to have split off quite a few. If I can possibly ward off some, that'd be great. I don't want to fight a huge group. I'm just trying to scare you away right now. So, all I'm trying to do is scare you off. I don't want to fight a lot of you. Now, the good news is my Legion, I think is... You're actually pretty terrible. Wait a minute. I used to have a really good general in my Legion. What happened? I used to have a much better general than this. You're only six now? That's terrible. I should take the guy who's worth eight. Yeah, forget that other guy. No, uh, better legions are good. Anyway, the legion is faster than the rest of my armies, so I can ensure that they will lead the charge and I get my, hopefully, slightly better leader to be uh, leading everything up. Okay, so hang on. Let's go ahead and move all you guys over here. I'm just trying to scare him off a little bit. Looks like we're going to get to fight a small stack. He's not committing. He's actually retreating with his largest group, so this is a chance to kill out a small group. Yep. Okay, got that. That was easy. I got 80,000 troops over here. Oh, I know that there's not enough food, but, I mean... <laughs> it's okay. He can't go anywhere as long as I got this huge stack in the way. Uh, I think. In theory. Right? Maybe? Wait. Who are you? Where'd you come from? I don't know. Bring these guys up over here, too. Bring them all! I need every able body. Alright, we're still working on this fort. Please take it soon. Barbarians have done their thing. Yeah. As bar uh, barbarians often do. So we're gonna have like a whole hundred thousand men ready to go. And you better believe we are gonna be draining up the food supplies. But that's okay. A poor harvest. Well, that's not a good time. I cannot gain corruption. I guess I'll have to lose some popularity, but corruption is already killing me repeatedly. Let's see if we can catch out a small-ish stack over here. He's stacking up to 30,000 now. 
The preeminent? Uh, loyalty, prestige, blah, blah, blah. Sure, invite him to a banquet, I guess. And somebody died. Gosh. All right. New governor needed. Um, preferably of green coloring. You're not great, but I'll take you. And the war exhaustion continues to grow. Yep, that will happen. Um, more tyranny? Just prevent it from going too fast. That's all I can ask. Okay, hang on. So he's now heading in for a fight. Okay, we're committing into this one. I think we have numbers. I'm a little worried about morale. But if we can do this, this would be great. We can smash that front line. Oh my god, he's still wrecking me. How? I've got... No, 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 no. Kind of. Okay, so the problem is our combat width is working against us here. Despite the fact that I have really good... Um, numbers? He's still gonna get me. So what we actually need to do is retreat. Okay. We're out to the equivalent. That wasn't working well for me. Okay, we got Kirbit. Cool. We're gonna gain some stability or money? Stability. Okay, we're gonna finish sieging all of this and this will be done. Good. Alright, so we can at least get rid of this war. And let's reduce the aggressive expansion. That's another chunk of men that we can send up to the front lines. So yeah, um, in this case, we're finding that we're having trouble. This is too many men at too low of morale and therefore unable to really do much. Now he's going to start pushing forward. I'm going to back off and hopefully he is dumb enough to get stuck on the fort. Let's get up over here and scare you off. Our steward died of a heart attack. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm stressed out too here, bud. Oh god, now he's got a lot more troops. Okay, hang on. So, this might be... Okay, he sent, he's sending 100,000 men of his own, basically. Well... I need my morale back. I need more morale recovery in general. Wouldn't that be nice right now? Okay, so go ahead and spread yourself out. That's, that's what I have to say. Spread out if you want. That's fine. I'm going to deselect at least some of these troops and these guys can all march up over here and start crushing out some smaller stacks while the rest of the body are being distributed elsewhere i am hoping that we have superior siege ability which means if this needs to turn into a base race scenario maybe we can do it but if he spreads out to multiple forts this could be my opportunity to start picking him off so we're gonna get a crush like a 7,000 stack right here for example he has some reinforcements but it's not going to be enough and as long as we have the flanking advantage, as long as we have that, we can win. Okay, he's sending in reinforcements, but it's not going to be enough. We can win this. I know we can. Well, I'm pretty sure we can. There we go. Okay, so we killed about twice as many troops as we lost. That's good. Let's go ahead and start working on that fort. Move forward here. Okay, a 10,000 stack right here, plus 13 walk in that way. But maybe we can catch out this army. Little victories, little victories. He's now stuck coming out of the desert, so he's moving slow. Let's be wary that these guys could accidentally die if we're not careful. If we can find small stacks of like six, I'll kill them. Um, I actually think we want to keep these stacks together and let this guy... So if all of his armies over here... Then this guy can now run around and just start taking forts while we hold his retreat so he can't go very far and just start looking for attacks of opportunity. I think that's how we want to play it. So you guys turn around. We might be able to go crush this 10 stack since the rest of him seems to have retreated a lot. You guys might be able to go here. Hello, mercenaries. I wish I could hire you. Like, for example, can we catch out this group? Not quite. Maybe. Hang on, there's another 11 stack heading this way. Okay, he's actually retreating a little bit. We need to go down to um, speed 4. Because I am potentially going to screw this up. With the 10,000 coming down, my god, this guy actually has a lot of pops. He's got a lot working against me. Um, I'm going to keep chasing down little guys. 
with this group. This group is small stack. Small, small game. That's all I care about. Alright, we get this back. We can push through this way. He's got a lot of small groups. I just, I see the opportunity. I'm just trying to figure out how to capitalize. Here's one, for example. Take that. He's going to, okay, wait. What do you got here? I can't see how many troops you got because this thing's in the way! Um, it says we may lose, but I don't think that's true. I think if all of you come together, we should win this. So that's a small-ish group. I can't see how many are there. I don't know what I'm actually walking into. We finished a siege, so that's good. We'll get up over here. We'll take back the provincial capital. Okay, we actually completely demolished that group, so now he's really in trouble there. Okay, we're going to get to fight another small group here. We're killing this small group. He is sending reinforcements, so he may... Yeah, we need to get out of that fight. This one will be a loss. Because I don't think we actually have a good general to go there. Okay, but we're still taking more fights that I can win. So we'll want to retreat from this as soon as we see the opportunity. It should be any minute now. There it is. Okay. Didn't take too many losses. Let's go ahead and crush this group. Fighting over here. Gonna go crush this group. Barbarians are still a thing. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, this is gonna turn into quite the uh, ordeal, ain't it? Quite the ordeal. But we're getting there. We're making some serious headway. Alright, so that's good. I'm gonna have you guys go here. You guys go here. Get these provincial capitals. Start taking the food again. Okay, this fight's an easy win. And we go over here and we crush this. He's got a lot of troops moving around over here, but they're not going to get very far. I need to take back my provincial capitals and control the food. So we'll take that. This group's going to die. Easy. I think he hired some mercs and these guys might be retreating. I think they got smashed. Yes, I know, we have a lot more uh, provinces that want to rebel. This is going to turn into a really, really ugly situation quickly. Got dangerously close to Babylon, but let's um, let's go get this provincial capital back. Alright, so these troops need to reinforce themselves, get their morale back, but otherwise they're okay. Uh, wow. Um, no, we'll just take a little bit. Can't afford to lose that much political influence. Or, sorry, that much uh, corruption on my leader. It's just, it's too much. It's bad. Alright, so this is going to be taken care of. Good. Get some troops up over here, ready to go. He could retreat with a huge stack and become a threat. It could happen, but I'm hoping not. Okay, we got that back. Start marching over with some reinforcements over here. What I want to do is possibly intercept either one of these groups. Yes, I know, Barbarians. I know, you're so annoying. Oh, hello. Found some reinforcements. This is an opportunity to crush him while he has low morale. He retreated to the nearby um, capital, is what he did. Okay, these guys, they abandoned this... No, they didn't abandon this fight, but they did come over here. Well, while he's stuck on that, let's go crush this group. You, I'm gonna have retreat again. Ideally behind a fort. Okay, relatively even losses, but we've trapped out this army with not enough reinforcements in time. So this is gonna get crushed. We're at 28% war score right now. Which is something. We'll take it. Okay. Okay. And we gotta win this uh, siege back to get all my territory so I can start reducing my war exhaustion, which so far is really high. I'd like to get some more reinforcements up over this way since that's where most of his armies are sitting. Uh, we lost out on what? We lost out on the Silphium. Alas, there's no one else willing to trade it, so I guess we're just gonna go for marble. And a tyranny reduction. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I can work with that. Why are you guys going the long way and in different directions? No, there's no good reason for that. Alright, let's see if we can get over here and crush this group. They are trying to work on this siege. Let's see if we can put a stop to that. I want to scare them off. God, these barbarians go away! Alright, another 11,000 troops. Let's go ahead and just grab our provincial capital back. I don't think these guys are going to be smart enough to retreat. There's another War of Independence. We lost gemstones. 
So we're going to have to deal with that next, uh, which is way down over here. Can probably do that with just the 11 stack, but yeah. All right, now he's retreating. Let's see if we can catch him. Bet she's going to go over there. Okay, we did catch out this group. Let's see if we can catch these guys at all. The answer is yes, a 3,000 stack. We can catch that. That's easy. Good. You guys are actually going to go together up over here and see if you can catch out that 10 stack. You're going to go get my provincial capital back. You guys are going to head down over here and deal with my new independence war because, of course... All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. If I can just get a little bit more... I can catch you. That's good. Just need to get these forts, dang it. Yes, yes, I know I lost a siege over here. It's annoying. It's also fine. Okay, crush that. Go here, crush this. Okay, he's not managing his uh, small stacks very well. Got a fort, good. Provincial capital, go over there. Progress is progress, and I'll take it. I will take everything I can get. Okay, we got this provincial capital back. Let's get back over here and help. This group died, perfect. We're actually going to let you go to the provincial capital. You go and siege down their capital. Ooh, I didn't even realize their capital was that close to us. No wonder they had their reinforcements come in such force. That makes a little bit more sense all of a sudden. They were able to reinforce the majority of their levies right then and there. Okay, surprised we haven't won this fight yet, but I mean, we're gonna. There we go. Confident! Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that you're confident. Where could you be retreating? You don't control anything down over here, so I think you're all going to head up over here. All right, let's see if we can get up here and start working on this fort and take it back. Still doing okay as far as I can tell on um, things like food. So far, food hasn't been a major issue. We're holding together on attrition pretty well. This is only, what, a level 1 fort? We should be able to siege that pretty quick with my levy. I'm out of manpower. Oh my god, I ran out of manpower fast! Jeez, dude. All right. Uh, a house. We can take them down a peg? No, I think I'll just go ahead and increase the loyalty of every member of their family using money. Because I got money. Money is something I got, and that's easy to work with. All right, so this is a small stack we're going to catch out. I see he's still going for more forts over here. You can take that, though. You go here, grab this. More provincial capitals. Is he retreating over here? He might be. Let's see if we can catch out another small stack. He might send reinforcements over here in a minute if we're not careful. Nope, he's coming to retreat over there. Hello. Well, you got low morale, so we can shatter that pretty quick. We're actually catching his armies where they're retreating. That's working out really well to my advantage. Okay. So we'll take these. Let's go and get these armies back together. Yes, yes, I know. Now it looks like the barbarians are finally going away. Great. You have a tiny little army over here that we want to kill. We'll siege this provincial capital. This will let me control the food stores so we can continue supplying our troops in this area. How are you doing on food? You're starting to run low, so pretty soon we're going to have to slow down the gas and let you retreat and get some food. Then again, take the provincial capital and I think you can get a heck of a lot more food. This looks like a city, so I'm going to go ahead and siege that. Actually, no, you know what? Let's go over here and see if we can catch out this army. He's getting some reinforcements. He's trying to do what I did, get some small stacks. Nah. That's right, you stay there. You stay there! And you die! How we doing? Pretty good. Can we catch out this locked army? Answer is yes. We are almost done getting this fort back. He's almost done getting this fort back. There is another independence war. They're joining against me. I guess we'll go ahead and just take down this fort first. Um, yeah, the more provinces rise up, the more uh, they all join up into one big powerhouse. We have to take all of them down to win these wars. So, I'm out of manpower. And we are not going to last that much longer. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. If I can get their capital, we can end this war. I only wanted... There it is. I only wanted to take the river, okay? Believe it or not, that's actually all that I wanted. We should be able to win this. There we go. I don't know why it was uh, yellow as if we were going to lose that. There's no way. Okay, so we take a lot more here. That's 64, 67%. Finish this. There we go. 68. Okay. I am exhausted in this war already. I say we pull back. We take all of this. 
Maybe I even take your capital and say, screw you. I got the aggressive expansion for it. Yeah, why not? Boom. Okay. That worked. I just stole a lot of pops. We're up to almost 8,000. He just lost about a... He lost a few hundred pops. Not a ton. He obviously controls a lot more over here, but there we go. We can now finish three missions. Hit. Gains. Sue him. Consolidate. Acquire. Consolidate. Now we just need to import copper to plan for war. Which it keeps acting as if I'm not doing. I'm obviously doing. We need a really good leader. You're actually fantastic. So we're gonna put you in charge. Congrats. All right. Some of these armies, actually a lot of these guys now need to start heading back over here because we got some independence wars to go deal with now. So let's get over here. What are we having issues with? Uh, no lack of a construction leader. Are we building a great wonder? What do you mean a lack? Missing trade goods. The edifice of such and such. Being built. We need stone and wood. What? We were actually shockingly close to getting to steal um, a wonder. Tax and commerce, honor tribesmen, and fertile nation. Well, you know I could get some local import routes and fix this problem. You have no local import routes to start with. If I pay for some serious investments, we could actually try to finish out another wonder. Why are you building it there? What a weird decision to make. I don't even like this wonder. I mean, no, this is a terrible wonder. That said, we can always change out the bonuses. So, I mean... Yeah? Um, hmm. Well, import some wood and some stone and we can finish it, I suppose. It's a thing. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and end these independence wars. Because I think we're actually about ready to end this series. We've kind of accomplished a lot. I am really, really strong. Egypt is still getting kind of close to me, but we've surpassed that. Babylon is easily the strongest nation in the world. We've mostly been able to keep our country under control. We just have a lot of disloyal provinces, and I think a big part of that is just the fact that we have... What is this? Oh. Uh, it's the fact that... A lot of it is the fact that we have um, so many units that are raised up, our integrated pops, that all of a sudden we're just, like, losing it. So, yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh, gosh, I don't know. We're gonna have to disband this levy as quick as we can, basically. Like, I need to win this this war, but, like, we also need to get the heck out of here. I want to disband some of these for proper disbanding. See, what's the point of having this button if I have to go to the military view to disband? Can you explain that to me? Also, we can't even disband levies while we're at war. We literally can't send people back home. Well, that doesn't seem very nice. Okay, fine, fair enough. Come on. I don't want them to take this siege. It's going to get annoying. Take this capital. Darn it. This one we can knock out quick. This one's not so bad. And if we can quickly knock out both of these war participants before the next round of provinces rise up against me, we can prevent this war from getting bigger. But the problem is, I know that in five months, we're talking about adding another nation into this war. So we got problems, basically. We got problems. We lost the Siege of Susa. Yeah, that was kind of what I was afraid it was going to happen. All of you guys go here. Uh, on the plus side, we're going to get a lot of uh, war experience out of this. On the downside, uh, at this point anyway, I haven't integrated another culture that can get me new army traditions. So army experience is kind of useless to me. So that's fun. For our nation, what else do we have as far as, like, so our, the, the next closest thing we have to a meaningful culture is Elamites, which I've already been kind of, like, working to integrate instead of anything else. I don't care we have a bad military leader with you. We're just going to go ahead and take you anyway. All right, we can get Susa back, except instead I'd rather you go kill these guys, let you guys go get Susa back. 
Yeah, you're already on the way. Just prevent these guys from getting much more. They're taking provincial capitals. This is getting very irritating. Okay, we'll get the siege back and be fine. Um, next nation joins in about a month. This is, by the way, for the record, how big nations in Imperator just fall apart. There it is. Okay, it's another big one right here. Hello. Turn around. Go get him. They got one capital fort. Military traditions. Wait. No, I can't get anything. What are you talking about? No. I know it takes 80 military experience, but we literally have no traditions to get, so it's lying to me. So they're running into the desert. How do you have legions? I is not to know one. Whatever, get the one fort they got. The good news is, it's basically just one province at a time that's rising up. Which means it's pretty much just one provincial capital and or fort. Okay, we crushed a group. We're about to go jump on another. So this will stop them from making any more progress. There we go. Easy. They got nothing. Where are you retreating to? You're running to the desert. Sure, that's right. Run away to the desert. See if I even care. We're gonna get this fort. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Kill these guys. I don't like them. Oh, boy. Stabilizing this country is proving tough. We have to, I have to be way more careful, I think, about um, raising up my entire national levy. Big wars. Scary, dude. Big wars. Scary. Alright. Well, we're working on three simultaneous sieges now. There's the Susa back, so we got that. Uh, you go get the provincial capital. I think it's over there. Yeah, grab this. Get that back under my control. 49% over there, 0%. Don't even have a navy. We never built one. There's a macro builder. We could be building some ships, I suppose. We literally haven't even bothered with these so far. We just haven't needed them. I'm not going to become a naval power because I'm just not going to fight a lot of naval people. These are like literally the only ones that even have any ships. Alright, so that's going to get me a lot more. Let's go kill these guys now. Peace. Nah. See, you're you're gonna you're gonna beg for independence, and I'm not gonna give it to you. Okay, these guys are still trying to siege things down. We get this all back. Forty-two percent chance. Once we take this fort, it's gonna be over. And we have how much longer? Ten months until the next rebellion. Yeah, the sooner I can bring all the pops back home to reestablish peace, uh, the better. Please take this fort. Now. Oh, I just realized. Let's keep in mind. Once we disband levies, we have to wait like a year or two before we can raise them up again, right? So if we're gonna have a rebellion in a few months, no matter what, we're talking about fighting like three more people again. All right. Well, let's start by piecing all of you guys out. I can't force some of these guys out the way I want them to. I am curious as to whether or not I can just peace out with one of these guys and take everything, and I think the answer is yes. Give me all of this, give me all of this, give me all of this. Done. Put in the sword, put in the sword, put in the sword. Okay. We desperately need to regenerate. Disband the levies, send them all home. Boom. We have now 178 military experience. That's amazing. Okay, still can't get any more Sylphium. Very sad about that. We're out of earthenware again. I don't understand how that's possible, because I'm pretty sure I told you guys not to ever um, export and lose my capital bonus, and yet somehow we keep losing our cap- Oh, you know what? I think what it is, I think what it is, is I'm actually promoting enough slaves that we're losing trade goods. I cannot, cannot gain more corruption. I'm sorry. It's just not a thing. All right, over here, I'm going to invest and try to continue with the wonder. That said, we are also going to try to establish some peacekeepers in all these regions and prevent this from becoming too much worse than it already is. Let's start reducing some of that unrest a little bit. 
So we still have a lot of disloyal provinces, uh, and a lot of them are still pretty bad. We can send these guys back home. I thought I did assign a leader. Wait, is there another one? No, this is the same one. Alright, fine. I thought I had a leader, but it's acting as if I don't. Uh, Great Wonder upgrades are available. Oh, we just gained another tier? Sure enough, we're now tier 4. Sweet. Um, I could invest in some of these. Make the citizens even happier. Costs a lot, honestly. I don't need it. We could do it, though. I lost gemstones again. Because they just keep swapping all over the place. A mutiny. Lose a lot of money, get some loyalty. Fine. I would happily spend money in exchange for lots of loyalty. Happily, happily. Disband the rest of the levies. Why are these guys not disbanding? Disband. Oh, right. These are mercenaries. I'm going to keep the mercenaries. Because mercenaries plus legion? Wait, did I just disband my legion? Oh, damn it. I think I did. I just goofed up and disbanded my gosh dang legion. Right. I don't have the manpower to build this back. Dang it all the heck, I'm an idiot. Alright, keep the mercenaries. I thought my, um, I thought my legions were up over here and I was disbanding a, uh, levy. But I was wrong. Mercenaries, go win this war for me real quick, please. Please and thank you, go. And yeah, I can't, I can raise my levies again, apparently. Alright, well. At least for right now, I'm not worried about it. But, we gotta go get these guys. Alright, well. I think this is a good place for us to end this series. I know we have a lot of internal strife. Now that I'm done with this war and I can raise my levies, it is obvious that I can win this and put it all back together. We're fine. I'm sad that I wasn't quite able to finish my own wonder, but another 700 days is another 700 days. In the meantime, we took Babylon from a tiny city-state and made it the most powerful nation in the world. You wouldn't know it from that last war, but we are. We are the most powerful nation in the world. So pretty darn good overall. I think the Bronze Age is fun. It's a good mod. Um, there's a few things it would benefit from, mainly from having a more meaningful missions. These are all very generic. And I did pop into some of the other recommended nations, and their own mission trees are also fairly generic and not that exciting. So uh, I'd like to see a lot more added there to kind of make sure that there's a few major powerhouses that actually, you know, have some really good flavor to them. But overall, like, I think the tech system being added in is a pretty cool change. Definitely changes up a few things as far as how you're going to play. Uh, I like seeing that things like the laws were all changed up. I like that there's different trade goods. I just like the different theme as far as, you know, the era of history. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff to like about the Bronze Age. It's good. And it is a break from the standard Diadochi crush everybody and or Rome becomes the blob of hell kind of a uh, play style. So it's fun. It's very, very good. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series of Imperator. Of course, I would like to play more in the future. Maybe the Imperator Invictus mod would be worth taking a look at. In the meantime, though, of course, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.